Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at 10 things that your iPhone can do and you probably didn't know about. Of course, iPhones and iOS is always packed with features and a lot of them are hidden and you might never realize that you have those features and never use them on your device. So in this video, we have 10 of those which are pretty cool and I'm pretty sure you will use a lot of them on daily basis. Now before we get started, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting things off with magnifier. So you know that the magnifier is a feature on iOS that is kind of hidden and probably a lot of people don't realize they have. You can actually add it to your home screen simply by searching for magnifier right here and just drag it to your home screen and it has some really cool new features. So let me show you guys what it can do. So if we go to magnifier, this is what I will talk about here is a feature that will detect any object that you put in front of the camera. So if we go here to settings, we can go ahead and enable here image description you go here enable it you can enable text or speech and then what it will do when you tap on this button which will show after you have enabled that it will basically detect things that are on the camera so you can see it says plant right there and it will show you everything that's on the camera and of course a description of it now this right here is a pretty cool trick that you can do on iOS. So you can see that smiley right there. So if you want to send a smiley, but you don't want to send an emoji, you just want to send these symbols. What you would do is probably type something like this. So it's a smiley, but it's like backwards or just rotated 90 degrees there. Now you can see I can tap right there to replace it with a proper smiley, which looks really, really cool. Now the way to do that is by finding these symbols that you want to use. You head on to Google and just find any symbol you want to use and copy it. Once you have that done, head on to your settings, go to general and then right here go to keyboard. Once you go here, you will have text text replacement and what you can do is tap the plus button. Now right here you can add what you want to display and then here you can add your shortcut. Basically when you type this shortcut, it will show the symbol that you want to display. Now, the couple of tricks I will show you guys now are not iPhone tricks. Well, they're iPhone tricks, but they're on the YouTube app and are pretty useful. First of all, if you want to move your video from this position to the full screen mode, all you have to do is just swipe up on the video. Just like that, you don't have to actually just like type tap here and just tap on the button. You have to do is just swipe up or swipe down here to go back. That's really cool. Another thing you can do is that when you want to move on a video, when you have a video that is actually on the full screen mode, so right here you can see we can move here or we can tap and hold here and swipe up and then it will show the video. So you can just choose exactly where you want to move on the video. So we will have the preview of the full video here, which makes it really, really easy for you to find the exact moment on the video where you want to go. Now this right here is a pretty cool trick. It is actually very, very old, but I'm surprised that a lot of people don't know about this. So anytime you have used the phone app and you have dialed a number, when you want to go back to that number and quickly call it, all you have to do is just open the phone app and tap this button right here. And it will display the last number that you have dialed right there at the top. And of course, all you have to do now is tap here once again to call that number. So as you probably know, with iOS 16, Apple has released a very useful new feature called lists for contacts, basically allowing you to create lists of contact, which will make your life very, very easy in a lot of different ways, especially when you want to send emails to a group of contacts. So you, you create a group of contacts and whenever you want to send an email, all you have to do is just go to your contacts app or maybe the phone app, go to your contacts and show the lists here and go to the list that you want to use. If I just go here, all I have to do now is tap that email button right there. And just like that, I can go ahead and send an email quickly to all of these contacts as, at once. On the notes app on iOS, when you open a new page to create a new note, you will find a blank page like this. 
but did you know that you can actually add lines to the notes pages? The way to do that, and you have a few options here, you head on to settings and just find the notes, and then here you will find lines and grids. And you can see right here, this is the default one, which basically is a plain page without any lines at all. But you can add lines simply by selecting here any of these six different modes that you might want to use, and then head on back to the notes app and of course now when you want to type you can see you will have the lines there which is actually pretty cool and in some cases for some users it might also be very useful now here is another really useful ios feature so in some apps you might need to have bigger text let's say i want to have bigger text size on notes well you don't have to change the text on ios completely you head onto your settings and go under accessibility and then just swipe all the way down here to per app settings here we have notes you can tap on add app here and of course select notes and then what you need to do here is go to larger text in this case if i want to actually just make the text larger and i can choose the size of the text here and you will have other options as well so you can just individually change settings for each individual apps that you want so when i go back to the notes here you can see now the text is different it's of course bigger and also you can see right here the predictive text is also bigger on the keyboard which will make it very easy to use the notes app Next up, we're talking about a feature called sound recognition. So sound recognition can be enabled by going under accessibility. You will find sound recognition here and you can turn it on with that switch. Well, you will have a few different sounds here, which are by default that iOS can actually detect. But what you can do is also choose your own custom sounds. So you will have custom alarms. So if you have a custom like a different alarm sound in your house, maybe or in your office, you can see here, you can go ahead and just actually record that sound and have it here. And you will have, of course, the default ones. But if you feel like you need a custom one for the alarms, you can set it there. And then you will have the household items right here. So you have custom appliances or doorbell. So let's say you have a doorbell that is kind of different. You can actually go ahead and just record it here. You can set the custom sound. So let's just try this out tap on continue here and then of course you can tap on start listening and that way it will recognize that sound and you can enable it then from here on ios basically on our devices we get of course a lot of emails and one really useful feature of ios especially of the mail app is that when you get a notification for a mail you can drag it down and you will see a preview of that email of course you don't want to go back to the email app and check it and maybe trash it or mark it as read now all you have to do whenever you get an email you just just basically swipe it down you will see the preview right here and you can go ahead and trash it or mark it as read directly from the notification without having to use the email app at all and last but not least we have an iMessage trick which is one of my favorite features of the iMessage so you know on iMessage we have the apps here and then when you want to send or share a YouTube video with someone it makes it actually really really easy because you will have the YouTube app here on the keyboard so you just swipe like this you tap on YouTube and you can see right here, it will show you the home screen of YouTube and also a search bar where you can search for anything you want. So basically you search anything you want here and you can send that video from here. So let's just search something. So you can see, I can search for videos here, in this case, my videos. And if I wanna send one of them, I just tap on it and you can see there it is. I can go ahead and send this as an iMessage as easy as that. So that is it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the videos and all the cool hidden tricks and features that you saw on this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and of course subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.